morning, uh, 9, 9.30, uh, day 3, day 3, Sunday morning, we just took off from a very nice campground, Lewis Park, Cameron State Park, and it was very peaceful, very beautiful, um, we had some hiking off the campground, which I love, um, we didn't have a lot of time, I just did a little hiking this morning, but now we're off to Glacier. There's some fires apparently along the way um, in Montana, and there's some fires in Glacier right now too, but I don't think it's going to affect us. We're going to, our, our objective is to go to Two Medicine Lake Campground. Uh, we should be there in about four and a half hours. That's the plan. So just sitting here, uh, we passed by a gas station, um, Senex right here. I was only at about a little under a half, but I thought this way I don't have to worry about it later. Um, this gas station had dyed diesel, which I guess I wasn't familiar with. Uh, I looked it up online real quick, and turns out it's for collector vehicles or off-road vehicles, I guess. So I did move to a different pump, which... Um, it says highway diesel, diesel number two, that's what I put in, but that was a new thing I haven't encountered before. Um, looks like Linda's just trying to see about getting some coffee here. Should be off in just a minute. Oh golly, just, I don't know, something about it was really cute. Um, they have obviously sweets and a few little like gifty home kind of things, and then um, they also make drinks. So, like espresso drinks, they had bubble drinks and um, tea, like a bubble tea kind of a thing. Um, some teas, I almost tried that kind of a thing, but um, yeah, I'm a coffee girl, so I got a coffee. <laughs> to medicine at the entrance to the campground is full which when I looked last year it wasn't full on this weekend it never filled up but we're sitting in a line right now there's about 30 cars in front of us a lot of them turned around I don't know what's going on it must be related to the fires or something but so now we got to figure out a new option and so I'm thinking of going back to East Glacier, go to Browning, and then go up 89, up to St. Mary. And then hope that there's a KOA or maybe at St. Mary's campground. <coughs> Problem is it's Labor Day weekend, Sunday and Labor Day weekend, so odds are not good that we're going to find anything. So I'm not sure where we're going to sleep tonight.
we're trying to think of what to do. Um, we're at the KOA, so we have a site, we have a place to sleep, but... They had a spot for us. I really want to go into the park, because I want to see at least the lake or the bears. <laughs> but the problem is it's bears. so smoky out there that I don't think the sights are going to be even somewhat interesting. It's just a really heavy smoke smell, like um, campfire right outside of our window. But oh. we're here, we have a spot to spend the night. That's good. Yeah. So I'm happy about that. At least we're not still driving around having to spend the night at a Walmart or something. <laughs> it's disappointing, but you know. Yeah, two medicine was not like this. this, this no. When we went over the path, suddenly the smoke just like it appeared. Yeah. It's just like, whoa, what in the world? What is this? So and now the, we know why everybody was at Two Medicine. And the campground host who uh, guided us here, he said, or actually he's the owner of the campground, <laughs> he said that it hasn't rained in 70 days, so that's why it's so wet. Or You're dry. so dry at least. <laughs> he said there might be a cool front coming in tonight from Canada, yeah, though. it's not going to help us because we're leaving, we're leaving tomorrow morning for Canada. Yeah. 